Chever hai. It's Erev Pesach. It's a long Erev Pesach. And I want to I want to give each and every one of you a bracha. I know that this time of the year, which is the time when we were freed from slavery, is for many of you, and in many ways for myself also, a reminder of of Mitzrayim, a reminder of a lot of chametz in life, a reminder of a lot of the mar, the bitterness that that we've tasted, and not all the memories of earlier storm, of earlier Pesachs are sweet and beautiful. Many are not. So I wanted to share with you a tiny little story that you might know. It's a famous story that Reb Nachman Sushilin used to say that there was uh, there was a, uh, a pair of fellas, a pair of schnorrers, schleppers, beggars, that would go from place to place trying to collect a couple of pennies, kopecks, and one of them was Jewish and the other one wasn't. And it was it was the night of Pesach, and they were sitting on a on a park bench and trying to figure out, you know, where we're going to get our next our next piece of of food. And the Jewish fellow said to his non-Jewish friend, "Look, tonight is our holiday. It's a big, big holiday, and and there's delicious food tonight. And not only that." But Jews open their homes and their hearts to everybody tonight. So they don't know who you are, and they don't know who I am. You'll go to one place. I'll find another house. Let's meet back here later tonight and enjoy. So each one goes to a different house. The fellow that's the fellow that's not Jewish comes back very, very early in the night, and he's just sitting and waiting for hours on the bench for his Jewish friend. And finally he's... The finally, the uh, the Jewish friend comes back, and and he asks his non-Jewish friend, "When did you get here?" He said, "I'm here for hours." He said, "Did you enjoy? Did you did you have the say there?" So the non-Jew said, I don't, "Honestly, I don't know what you're talking about. It was it was crazy. First of all, they were mumbling all kinds of prayers and stuff, and and it smelled good in the house. I thought there was going to be something fantastic, and I'm waiting and waiting and waiting." And finally, they gave her like this tiny little piece of celery. And I was so hungry, I, I, I tried to take more, but they said, no, 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 you can't, you can't have more. And then they were dipping it into salt water, it was crazy. And then and it was just the whole thing, then there were these crackers, I couldn't even chew them, and then you weren't allowed to talk. My mouth is so dry, and then the worst thing is they gave this stuff out, and it set me on fire, it was mamish, bitter, 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 bitter. So the Jew asked him, so what happened? He said, what happened? I, I ran out of that place before, I was, uh, before they would kill me. I couldn't take it anymore. I ran out. So the Jewish friend says to him, I, I should have told you, you don't know, you didn't, you didn't realize that right after, right after the, those bitter herbs, right after the, what we call Mara, was going to be the most delicious, fantastic meal on earth right afterwards. You just didn't wait to the end of the story. And of course what Rabbi Nachum is saying is something that speaks to to all of us. There's that part of life that uh, doesn't taste good. And there's a lot of there's a lot of mar. And and many of us just can't hold on any longer. We just don't have the patience, we don't have the kaiches to to wait until after the mar. The night of Pesach, this time of the year, we have the ability to come to a place of faith, of belief, that the freedom will come, that the delicious meal is going to come, that all of the good that Hashem has written for each of our Shamas, that somehow, some way, it's, it's going to be. We don't know when. Just like the, the Afikoman is broken in half, the Ahats were also broken in half, but the bigger piece of who we are is, is hidden. Each one of you and myself, there's a tzafon, there's a hidden piece of us. We've been broken, but there's a hidden piece that's very, very, very big. And that somehow it's going to happen that that bigger piece of who we are and that delicious meal 
that Hashem promised us and that we've been waiting for, somehow it's going to come. I just want to give each and every one of you a bracha that you should have the strength, the faith, the patience to wait and not to run out of the Seder, to, to wait until the good stuff comes. And we should be able to enjoy it together in Yushalayim very, very, very soon. I'm sending each and every one of you all my love and all my brachas. For a hard kosher, some hair, a lechtig and fair lechen yantif.